I'm Lauren Hager. I'm a junior middle blocker for Georgia Southern Volleyball, and today I'll be reading Curious George at the fire station. George and the man with the yellow hat were visiting the fire station. Hello, George, said the fire chief. How would you like to wear a fireman's hat? George put on the big hat. Then they looked at the fire engines. We're proud of them, said the chief. We keep them as bright and shiny as we can. One fireman was polishing a big brass bell on the wall. This is our alarm bell, said the chief. Whenever there's a fire, it rings. Another bell was on the engine. We ring that bell on our way to the fire, said the chief, so that people will get out of the way. And this is Sally, our Dalmatian. She's just had 10 puppies. The puppies stay in a basket on the second floor with the firemen. They all went up to the second floor. The puppies were in a straw basket by the wall. Yip, 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 they barked. One tried to jump up and lick George's face. Near the basket was a big round hole with a pole in the middle. When the alarm rings, said Chief, the firemen slide down the pole to the fire engines below. You may slide down if you want, George, said the Chief, but be careful, said the man with the yellow hat. George slid down the pole like a real fireman. Then he climbed onto the fire engine and sat behind the steering wheel. Make way, here comes George the fireman. George was curious. What would happen if he rang the bell? Clang, clang, clang went the bell. The fireman heard it and jumped to the bed. Fire, 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 they shouted. Quickly, they put on their uniforms and slid down the pole. It was a false alarm. When the firemen got to the engine, all they saw was a little monkey. George, said the chief, fighting fire is a serious business. Get off that engine right now. George felt terrible. At that moment, they heard a dog bark. Sally was looking up the top of the pyre pole. One of the puppies had gotten out of its basket and was looking over the edge of the hole. One more step and it would fall. George knew what to do. He climbed up that pole as fast as he could. Then he held out his hat to catch the puppy in case it should fall. Sure enough, the puppy slipped and... landed right in George's hat. That was using your head, George, said the chief. You saved the puppy. I'm making you an honorary fireman of our station. You can keep the hat, too. Come back to visit any time, shouted the chief, as George and the mane and the yellow hat got into their car to drive home. The end.